Have you ever let a cup of hot chocolate cool down? What about the exact opposite? Left a cold soda out so long gets warm. The same thing happens in both situations. The object's temperature changes to match its surroundings. But how does this happen? Let's go check it out. If an object is a different temperature than its surrounding area, it will heat or cool itself to put in the same temperature as its surroundings. We can show that with our solar water heater. For instance, this water is only 70 degrees Fahrenheit. This water heater has been sitting in the sun for a while and is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. When we pour this water through the heater, it will absorb the energy from the pipes and increase in temperature. One pass is actually not enough time for the water to reach equilibrium. There's just too much water, not enough piping. However, the more times you run the water through the water heater, the closer it will be to equilibrium. This process can be explained by something called Newton's Law of Cooling. While the equation looks quite complicated, the process it explains is easy to understand. As heat transfers between an object and its surroundings, the difference in temperature exponentially decays. This means the temperature will change quickly in the beginning, but this change will get slower and slower as time goes on, until eventually the object reaches equilibrium with its surroundings. This process can be used by engineers to correctly predict how quickly something is going to heat up or cool down. They can use these calculations to design all sorts of things, from coffee mugs to rocket engines, all so that they can be used safely.